What's up y'all? Today we're going to learn how to format a hard drive. I've had a lot of how-to videos, but apparently I forgot to make one on how to format a hard drive, which is a pretty simple and pretty important process as well. Let's learn how you do it. So later on in this how-to video, I'll tell you guys uh, more specifics on like what forming a hard drive does. But first, let's just get right into forming a hard drive. So first you can find your drives by click on File Viewer, wherever you have it, and then going to this PC. And then look, there's all my drives on my computer. Got my OS drive, uh, extra hard drive inside the computer, external hard drive, and external solid state drive. So you could figure out whatever hard drive you want to format. And uh, then we can, I guess, see some, some you can just go to format by right click and then click format. I don't know if that works for all of them. Apparently it does. So you can just right click, click format on that drive and you can do it through there. Or I usually just format another way for most devices. I just click windows, click or type format and then click enter. It'll take you to a format window showing you all your drives. Make it a little bit bigger for me so I can show you guys. Um, this is a drive that I'm going to be uh, formatting today. It's my extra backup. Don't really need it too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and format this sucker. Uh, just keep the same name. You can either make it NTFS or XFAT. Uh, NTFX only works on Windows. XFAT, I believe, works on Windows and Mac. Um, and uh, But I think there's some restrictions on XFAT with file size or something. So if you're just doing Windows, I would re definitely recommend uh, NTFS. Allocation size, I just keep on default. You can do perform quick format, which is going to do it really quickly. I believe if you uh, check this box to make it not perform quick, then it does more of like a thorough deleting everything on there. But basically, I mean, I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. So uh, we'll just keep it quick right now because I'm going to be keeping the drive and it's not a big deal if I don't make it not quick. Enable file and folder compression, I just ignore that totally completely. So it asks you, hey, do you want to back up this stuff? Because if you want to back up this stuff, uh, you should probably do that before you format this drive. So probably smart, but uh, I think I have a video on how to back up anyway, in case you guys wonder how to do that. But, so I'm just going to continue. I don't have anything important on there, so see ya. Get out of here, my life. So now we got a full uh, drive. If we go back to computer, it'll show that the drive is empty. Pretty cool stuff, y'all. So uh, I guess I'll run you guys down like what formatting does. Formatting essentially kind of removes the map on how to find content on your hard drive, if that makes sense. So basically, uh, imagine if you're like driving somewhere um, and you don't have a map. It's kind of hard to find where you're going, right? Uh, basically, it's the same way with a computer, essentially. Uh, like once you format a drive, it just deletes the map. The data still is on there, but the computer like has trouble finding it. You can download programs in case you ever delete content to find that content that's deleted because it's technically still on the hard drive, just hasn't, uh, it doesn't have the map, so yeah. Basically, if um, we did that quick format earlier that's just deleting the map, if you want to do a lot more intense format, basically you have to overwrite this content to delete it because it, the hard drive doesn't delete the content until it's been overwritten on, the, on top of that. So, even though you format something to a quick format, then um, like people can still find that stuff with uh, with like programs that search, you know, that programs that don't need that map that can search and find your stuff without that map. So I mean, if we do the same thing, but don't click, um, uh, but but we don't click quick format, it should go ahead and delete everything on it. Um, if it doesn't, there's also programs online that overwrite the content and then just make it sure that nobody else can find it. It's smarter to do that if you're going to be selling the computer after. Uh, you want to delete like everything on your hard drive. If you have like some crazy porn, some child porn you don't want someone finding, or children's pictures or something, maybe something totally innocent. I don't really care. But uh, yeah, so see, as you can kind of tell, it's still formatting. It takes a little bit longer to format, that kind of stuff but it overwrites your data so that nobody else can find it, even with those special programs. So hopefully this video is a little bit helpful for you guys. Um, formatting is very important. If you guys ever want to delete your stuff, that's how you delete it. Um, it's called formatting and uh, it's a pretty good process. Yeah, this is going to take a while. So I guess I'll just go ahead and end this video. It probably going to, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's actually going through all the content and manually overwriting it. 
and uh, actually deleting it, so that's cool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you. If you have any more questions, leave them down there in the comment section below. I'll do my best to help you guys out. Uh, if you guys thought this how-to video was helpful, drop a like on it. I really, really appreciate that. Helps on my channel quite a bit. Uh, I like doing these how-to videos. So if you guys any, have any more suggestions for how-to videos, leave them down there in the comment section as well, and I'll see if I can figure it out, because I work on computers quite a bit now that I have a repair business and everything. Uh, I do a lot of this kind of stuff. It's pretty fun. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Peace out, you crazy kids.